far away. Yeah, and it was about what I expected. I tried to tell you guys. Uh, I mean, you look at the final line, you got five innings and two hits. So there's something positive there. But it, for me, like I advertised, I, it looked like he hadn't been out there for a year. And uh, so we'll continue to, to work. What he did at a, 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 a high level for Joseph is manipulating swings. And so we got ground balls. You got a double play in the first, second. and. Um, so you had a bunch of ground balls. Infield played great today. From that standpoint, they had the expected. Uh, Caden Green was at third today and, and did a nice job. But uh, Joseph can be a lot better. You know, you know, I know it. He knows it. But at the same time, he just kept navigating and, and kept getting better and, and will over these next few weeks. So we got through that and really stayed on the pitching side. You got three more guys in the ball game. I thought Crotchfelt did a nice job. That was an absolute coaching decision to bring Armstrong in with two strikes. Just having a right-hander down there, a right-hander at the plate, and having two strikes, and who's the best option if the guy's in the pen is absolutely ready to go, come in the ball game, and he was. So the one pitch, two outs helped us kind of navigate because it was a, that was a four-to-one ball game, I think, at the time. And so Armstrong gets some work in, and then, um, you know, Cannon was able to come in and, and finish up the ball game. And uh, – Again, there's a something about opening weekend, uh, season openers and opening weekends that you just want guys to get out there and lay some good tracks. So we, we walked some guys today. So we had some really good sequences, struck them out a few more times. But at the same time, you know, this we're not playing our – we're not there. And it's good to lay some tracks and get some things out there but, but try to build off of today. So I'm, I'm thankful that we had success. But – some things to build off of, but those are kind of the guys that we're going to be counting on, and it's good that they got that first appearance out there. And I thought Bobby Pierce, that was our player of the game, just two outs, two strikes, and hit that triple and got us going, and we, we really needed that. This thing's supposed to work off of each other good, right? Where nobody feels the pressure and, and everybody's capable. And I, I think Chris is getting some pitches to hit. I think he chipped in two more hits today. And, of course, got us going in the first last night. And I think, I hope this is an offense that, you know, we can keep talking about a different guy every night, you know. So, you know, Ike gets 12 hits yesterday and, and he gets over today. And, and Bobby Pierce picks him up in that same inning after a strikeout because – their starter presented problems for us versus our left-handed hitters uh, today. So he got a couple of strikeouts and big moments when we had a chance to score, and then Bobby got us going. That's why that one was so big today. But that's how it's supposed to work. You're supposed to be fearless and trusting, have your at-bat, and somebody else will pick you up when it's going good and when you need it. And that's uh, hopefully that's how we're built. And uh, I, I think hopefully maybe Chris is getting some more pitches to, to look at and hit when you lengthen that lineup and you think about all these guys and then – here comes somebody who's skilled at Stanfield still walking to the plate. Hopefully that's to our advantage and to, to Chris's for these first two days. I think so. And the two strikes was really happening because you got a lefty on deck there. And then, like, you feel like it'd be two more guys before you could get Armstrong in. So we were absolutely playing matchups there. And that's, that really provoked the two strike deal <clears throat> is trying to get the two outs, knowing that a lefty's coming up. And uh, then you got a righty. I think the two hole was right handed as well, right behind it. So that's how we're going to play. And, you know, you got the Bowman and Armstrong extremes there. And then, you know, Tilly with the split and Cannon, you know. That's what we're walking toward. That's at least how we're trying to phase some things. And then, you know, you'll have a Myers and a Herbert Holtz tomorrow. How much can they eat? You think you got two guys that are trained as a starter to work off of each other. So we went ahead and used some guys to try to finish off a series, knowing that you feel like you got two starters for tomorrow. And then, you know, you might, if you start chipping into that depth even more, you might get to a Dylan Watts or somebody like that to, to come in the ball game. So 
we're learning a lot about ourselves, but these are guys we're counting on these first two days in a big, big way. And I thought Bauman and I thought everybody that threw was competitive. I think everybody with another outing has got something to work on to keep getting sharper. Yep, thank you. Two different days.